Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a different video because we got the official announcement just now, like 20 minutes ago, that Supergirl is officially ending on the CW. That means that Supergirl is going away. It's not going to be any more past season six. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, is enjoy the word, I don't know. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Supergirl videos in season 6 which will be its last season. So I'm reading off of an article from Variety and they talk about, you know, the decision behind the scenes as to why Supergirl is ending, you know, officially and why it's ending in season 6. So yeah, it's been officially announced, Supergirl is officially hanging up her cape and in a joint decision, the CW and producers at Warner Brothers Television and Berlanti Productions have announced that the upcoming sixth season of Supergirl will be its last. So, we kind of knew this was going to happen at some point, but I was really, really, really hoping that it wouldn't happen this season and considering that I believe they are contracted up to about like the end of this season and then season 7 they would have to renegotiate the contract which Stephen Amell did and Grant Gustin has done because you know The Flash is moving on to season 7 and they plan to go on for many more seasons that's what Grant has said so you know no worries about The Flash but I believe Melissa's contract is up and I believe it was a joint decision yes with the CW and Warner Brothers and Berlanti but I also think it was the say of Melissa because it was really all down to the star and these superhero shows that are led by one primary star can't really be continued when, you know, the main character is gone because, yeah, you can put in some replacements and stuff, but in the end of the day, it's probably better if you do a spin-off show or something like that rather than calling it, say, Arrow and then you have a new Green Arrow taking over the Arrow show for like a season 9 or something. So yeah, it's definitely part Melissa's decision and part the people behind the scenes. So yeah, I really hoped that this day wouldn't come. I knew it would come sometime in the next few years at least. I kind of had a feeling it was going to happen sometime very soon. So I wouldn't say I'm that surprised, but at the same time, I'm I'm honestly I'm devastated because you know I've always loved Supergirl, been a big advocate for the show because you know I've always loved it. I've always covered it on my channel I think my first video on YouTube like talking was to do with Supergirl like uh, at the start of season two and so I've watched Supergirl since the start I remember when it first came out and it was like what was it like 2015 October or something and I watched the first few episodes and I was loving it and I was at the same time I was watching The Flash and Arrow and I was like you know, these are literally so similar, like, you know, Supergirl, wouldn't it be amazing if that was part of, like, the Arrowverse, like, in a crossover with the Flash and Arrow, and then suddenly out of nowhere, you had Supergirl, which was a CBS show, and you had the Flash, which was a CW show, obviously owned both by Warner Brothers, that's a way that they can cross over, but it's kind of unheard of that they cross over a show from, like, another network, so... Yeah, they made it happen, and you had the Flash crossing over with Supergirl, that was the first time that Supergirl entered the Arrowverse, and I remember forgetting that they were crossing over, and then the episode came, and the Flash music started playing, and I was like, I recognise this music, and then, you know, it came on, and I was like, oh my god, like, Supergirl is part of this universe now, and this is amazing, and ever since then, we've had all the big crossovers, We've had the musical crossover with The Flash, which was one of my favourite episodes ever. And then you have, like, Crisis, you have Crisis on Earth X, you have Elseworlds, some amazing stuff. And, like, you know, Heroes vs. Aliens, when Supergirl first showed up and met, like, Green Arrow for the first time and everything. That was super cool. So, I'm a huge Supergirl fan. Like, Supergirl is my favourite character in DC TV in the Arrowverse, along with The Flash. So... You know, it's got a big place in my heart, this show, because I've loved it since the start, I've watched it since the start, I've never missed an episode before, so, yeah, I'm, at least it made it this far, like, I believe it was actually supposed to be maybe cancelled by CBS back in season one, but the CW saved it for season two, and so, yeah, the CW did a really good job, and I believe they were fully committed to doing Supergirl for as long as 
you know Melissa wanted to continue on for because it is one of the CW's most treasured shows because it does get them a lot of advertisers. There was a report a while ago saying that Supergirl did the most in terms of adverts for the whole CW even though The Flash is the most watched show. Supergirl was the one that was getting them you know all the adverts watched and you know they had loads of great you know feedback from it essentially you know it, there was always a good response and the viewership ratings like they were always like good and you know past the first ratings when they come out and people were like whoa you know like it's not exactly a million or it's not over a million but then they get adjusted and then you include everything else like advertising and you know you include the dvd blu-ray sales and Supergirl is one of the most, you know, successful shows of the CW, so it's a big shame that's going, and I'm sure the CW and Warner Brothers aren't, like, I'm sure they're not unhappy, but I'm sure they're a bit disappointed, because, you know, it does so well for them, but, yeah, so personally, on a personal note, and for all of you guys who have been watching my Supergirl videos for these many years, like, you know, we've talked about this, people have been theorizing about this online, like, fake articles and stuff, and... I guess we kind of knew it was coming, like, but it wasn't because of any sort of backlash, it was because of, like, a decision made by Melissa and the CW, and I'm presuming, and I don't want to make any too big presumptions, but I kind of got the feeling that with this pandemic and everything, with Melissa's new child, with all the restrictions, maybe they came together and thought, you know, this would be a good time, maybe we were thinking of ending it next season or something like that, but how about let's do it this season let's do 20 episodes which is confirmed for this season which is more than what you're expecting we we're expecting 16 this season so that's a piece of good news from this article and so you know maybe they just came to that decision and i know all of us supergirl fans are very very disappointed but at the same time i can see why they did it but at the same time i'm selfish and i'm sure most of you guys who love supergirl are selfish we want this show to go on forever and it's a big shame, I would say, which is uh, my opinion, because I just love the show and I wished it went on to like 10 seasons, which I kind of feel like The Flash is going to go up to like 10 seasons or something like that. But I understand the circumstances at the same time, and so nothing against the decision. I just would have loved to see it continue onwards. But anyway, so let's move on to talk more about this article. So. As I quote this article, it goes like this. Production on the Supergirl curtain call is set to begin later this month, and the writers have already started developing storylines for the final 20 episodes, according to sources. The network is aiming to premiere the sixth and final season sometime in 2021. Okay, so what does it say here? So they've already began in the writer's room preparing and writing those final, you know, storylines like that will build up for those 20 episodes the final 20 episodes of Supergirl ever, so I'm guessing they kind of knew about it maybe like a month ago or so, or a couple of months ago, probably they've been talking about this a while behind the scenes, and then they kind of prepared the writers, because they wouldn't have had the writers like writing storylines for the whole season, they would have done like the first few episodes, maybe they didn't know, but then they were told, and so now they can sort of retool it to prepare it as like a final season so those final 20 episodes are going to be very important and you're going to want a good story you're going to want a perfect way to end the show you know they got to find that perfect way and i think it's good that they know in advance and this isn't supergirl being cancelled the cw hasn't like put it and just like thrown it down the can like it's not cancelled or anything because of like ratings or anything that you see on all these other networks even sometimes cw cancels some shows but shows like arrow and now supergirl were being you know officially ended and that was due to decisions creatively behind the scenes with the main actor and the cw warner brothers and Belanti productions so yeah it's ending with 20 episodes so recently we were told that supergirl was set to have 16 episodes for this season but obviously that was prior to the knowledge that supergirl would be ending this season so they've added four more episodes and like i said earlier in that other video like a week ago or something you know that was a tentative sort of schedule so now they've committed to more because they found out oh this is a final season so you know we're gonna end this properly we need 20 episodes we don't want to do like 16 or something like that 
And so news of this comes exactly four months from the season five finale. And, you know, the series officially debuted in CBS back in 2015, October. So nearly like the five month anniversary. That's crazy. So also today was Supergirl's birthday. Not Melissa's birthday, but the character, like, when it was created, so I guess they did that on purpose, maybe. But, yeah, so let's move on to talk about Melissa's statement, and this is her statement she wrote on Instagram. So I quote, To say it has been an honour portraying this iconic character would be a massive understatement, seeing the incredible impact the show has had on young girls around the world has always left me humbled and speechless. She's had the impact on me too. She's taught me strength I didn't know I had to find hope in the darkest of places and that we are stronger when we're united. What she stands for pushes all of us to be better and she has changed my life for the better and I'm forever grateful. I'm so excited that we get to plan our conclusion to this amazing journey and I cannot wait for you to see what we have in store. I promise we're going to make one hell of a final season. So that was Melissa's statement and I guess the last paragraph is very fitting and it's kind of nice to know that they are planning a conclusion rather than cutting off short. Like if you look at NBC and what they did to Constantine which is part of the Arrowverse, they finished it without like a proper ending they just cancelled it so they didn't conclude anything they just you know cut it off and it's a little bit comforting to know that yeah they've planned this and you know this is going to be the final season and that's how it's going to be so supergirl throughout his run supergirl has been a key part of the arrowverse which has already lost its first member arrow at the beginning of this year the arrowverse shows which will continue beyond the end of supergirl are the flash which is heading into season seven Legends of Tomorrow, which will premiere season 6 next year, That Lightning, relatively new addition, Batwoman and newcomer Superman and Lois. There have been multiple Arrowverse crossovers to date, which have brought in big viewership numbers for the network. Season 5 of Supergirl star Kyla Lee, Katie McGrath, and you know, the article goes on with all the names. We all know those names, and so yeah, it has had a big big impact on the Arrowverse as a whole. It's been a key member after Arrow and The Flash. I think most people see Arrow as very, very important because it created the Arrowverse, but after all, at the end of the day, I think The Flash is the most important show, so The Flash is still going. I think, you know, they can keep up the Arrowverse. I think it's going to be a big loss once, obviously, Arrow's gone already and Supergirl will go, and then, like, what happens if The Flash goes, you know, in the next few years like before season 10 or something like that would be a big big loss and it will be only the newer shows like legends isn't new but like it's not the same as supergirl arrow or the flash so legends would be there black lightning would be there batwoman would be there obviously i feel like batwoman and superman lois could like live up to you know the kind of heights of those higher shows it doesn't seem like black lightning and legends are at that level yet but, you know, Batwoman, big, chunky season, like, 20 episodes always. That's what they are trying to go for, like, at this big kind of bolstering show. And then Superman Lois, which we will be definitely covering on this channel, because it is a Supergirl spin-off after all, and Supergirl's going away, so of course we're going to be covering Superman and Lois. I'm going to be covering more DC TV shows, especially once Supergirl is gone. Obviously, The Flash is going to stay around on this channel, but Superman and Lois, when it comes out in January, is going to be a big thing for me, and I'm sure you guys who are Supergirl fans want to stick around for that, so don't miss any of that. Maybe they will include some Supergirl characters on the show. I'm really, really hoping for that, and, you know, considering Supergirl is part of the Arrowverse and it's such a big part, I don't think they're going to throw away, like, all of the characters. Maybe some of them will go to Legends, some will guest appear sometimes, maybe some will go to Superman and Lois. I think that would be really fitting, because, you know, we've seen, like, even after Arrow ended, Diggle went on The Flash for, like, the episode after Arrow ended, so... You know, I'm sure we're going to see some more of that, and maybe we'll see more of that with Arrow sometime soon with their characters that still exist. But obviously, Arrow's not around, and now Supergirl's not going to be around, so we'll see who actually shows up and if Melissa ever comes back, which I still think there is a chance she could come back. I think there's a chance Stephen Amell will come back as Green Arrow at some point. Like, I'm pretty sure they'll make a cameo at some point. 
I really don't believe they're just gonna like leave it forever. I think they're gonna, you know, definitely end the shows like they have, but I think they have such a big attachment. I think they can be persuaded to come back for maybe like a crossover for like one or two episodes or something like that, or even just a cameo. So we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, overall, to kind of wrap this video up, it's a big, big disappointment. I'm very kind of upset about this. I'm kind of annoyed at the same time. But, you know, I was expecting it after all sometime this year, next year, the year after. I guess I'm just a bit annoyed that it wasn't like in two years or something like that. So we could get more Supergirl content because, you know, it's one of the best shows out there, I think. And so, yeah, what do you guys think about all this? crazy crazy news i can't believe it i'm kind of speechless even though i've been talking for a long time i just you know it's i'm in shock kind of like i just can't believe it anyway so thank you guys so much for watching this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment remember subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any supergirl videos for its final season season six which is this season they're starting to film in i believe six days time so that's under a week when they begin production on their final season which was just confirmed so thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys later goodbye I see red.